Hi everyone, today I'm going to present about my national plan um, uh, of the way I teach the nation accelerated motion. Firstly, about the context. Um, uh, talk about my student is a medium student. Uh, so this is the first time they uh, um, they they uh, uh, use experiments enough, and um, it's an inquiry based learning is quite um, is not similar with them. And in previous uh, lesson, they have known something about uh, characteristic of uniformly linear, mo linear motion as well as its average velocity and instantaneous velocity. Uh, but uh, and uh, and the second part I want to mention here is the goals. Uh, first, uh, the first goal is the knowledge. I want students after after learning this problem as this session, I want students understand the characteristic of uniformly accelerated motion and the inquiry. And inquiry skill is formulate the question of or design a problem to be investigated and decide uh, and uh, manipulate the operator and choose the representation or experimental data. And the, the, the last one is uh, teaching teaching and learning. As I mentioned before, the students have to know um, about the characteristic of uniformly linear motion, but in real life, there are no objects moving with constant velocity all of the time, all the time. They will move, um, for example, a car will move, will speed up we speed up, speed up if it, if it move on the incline, incline uh, without break. Uh, and but um, how how is how the velocity change? We don't know. And this lesson will going to this lesson going are going to is going to. Uh, investigates the motion of the car moving on incline. It's a, uh, my inexisting problem. Solving problem, as you know, uh, to uh, deter to uh, determine the position, uh, to study the characteristic of this motion, we have to um, determine the position of this motion. And I would ask students um, a question: How you can um, measure the displacement x and the time t of this uh, of this car when it's moving moving down? Uh, and student, um, Please say again, LAC problem. Um, LAC, say again, the LAC problem. And as student learned before, the uh, learned before the characteristic of uniformly linear motion. But in real life, there are no objects moving with constant velocity over all of the time. Uh, for example, I, 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 uh, suppose, I suppose that uh, I certain that in July there are no objects move with constant velocity all of the time. Yeah, that's yes. The question is. Uh, the question is uh, if we have a car moving on the incline, we see that the velocity will in increase. But how is increase? We don't know. 
and um, this lesson will go into I uh, will investigate the the motion of this car. You did not question investigate what? Investigate the the, mo the motion. Let us say it's when we talk about motion. Uh, yeah. uh, investigate the characteristic of this motion. Yes, and in particular. Yes. Uh, as well as is uh, average velocity and instantaneous velocity. Um, I, I asked you how to measure the displacement x and the time t of the object move, moving down. And students, um, I think students just um, uh, think that they will uh, use the ruler to measure displacement and the timer to measure uh, yes. t. The Why do we have to measure distance? Why do we have to measure time? Uh, Measure for fun or for what? Uh, measure displacement and time to um, to enter the uh, average velocity and instantaneous velocity. Why do we need to calculate the, the average velocities? Uh, it's uh, some characteristic of uh, of um, un motion of un because uh, because we want to. Um, it's very to get the characteristic of uh, the motion of the object moving down, and we have we so um, um, uh, calculate the displacement x and uh, the time t. Now, 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 now tell it's me softly, what is the characteristic you want to investigate, or you want to talk uh, uh, to um, say to student? Uh, the, At the end of this method. Uh, the average velocity of the uh, of the ob of the um, object increase increases uniformly over time. No. Uh, not average velocity, but instant velocity. You know, instantaneous velocity uh, changes constantly over time. Yes. And we call that kind of motion. Uh, accelerated motion. Yes. Yeah. But the situation here if you want to invest in it in is a situation where we have a object slide down yes. in the environment and we see the change of velocity over time. Yes. But we are curious about how velocity changes. Yeah? Yes. We are curious about what is the relationship between yes. the instantaneous velocities and time. Yes. So that is the research questions. Yes. Yeah, that is questions that we need to investigate, and in order to investigate it, we it have to measure velocity. Please, yeah. And measure time. Yes. And they fill in the velocity timetable, and then they have to plot the graph and and, and, and interpret the data to, 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 uh, to, to see or to realize the relationship between V and T, yes. and so on. So, that's we, we try to do to, to speak out about the research questions. Yeah? Okay. Uh, okay. Give something. Um, Quick. Uh, to uh, identify, it means uh, this basement X, we, uh, I, I, I talk, I tell students use a vibration device. Here we have a vibration device here to with thick tape. We take a test, and I will tell students something about the, um, the principle of the uh, vibration device. Uh, it means um, under the under the alternative voltage of two hundred and twenty volt, the the vibrator here, the vibrator here, vibrate. 15, 50 times per second. It means the vibration uh, periodicity equal zero to zero, uh, to zero point zero two seconds. We have no time left, so I want to see your uh, manipulation skills. Mm. Go back and get some data. 
And after that, I uh, let them to uh, do experiment. We must take the car, the charge, be parallel with the wooden box, and make the angle um, more than 20 degrees. Um, to be honest, it's, um, it is it, it not enough 20 degrees. But because I cannot um, take, uh, it's more, it's, it's not balanced. No, that is the issue of preparation. Oh. Not excuse in this case. Two hours to prepare for that. Yes, actually, it's also uh, go down, going down. It's okay. We have uh, the tap something like this. I will uh, draw in the. Huh? It's something like this. And I ask students to uh, uh, take uh, to make a table of this vitamin X and this vitamin X. T, I can take and we measure um, five pi to of the to make the interval time is one point uh, zero point one second and measure the displacement x between two uh, two five point here and I have uh, I have prepared before to make the end. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Tell me how to calculate the instant and uh, the uh, 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 From yeah, from this. Uh, yeah, uh, from this uh, table we can. No, not table. Uh, from this table. Uh, tab. Uh, be because I I uh, I was uh, was more is to be easy to see. The distance between one, two, three, four, five is a uh, x one, and the distance between one, two, three, four, five is mean x two, and the average velocity between between average velocity is x two. To e plus x one, uh, and m uh, e t two plus t t one. Um, we can uh, calculate here, but the the um, the th the interval time is short enough, and we can consider the guess, we can consider the uh, average as the instantaneous velocity uh, be, uh, equal equal the average velocity. No. Uh, let me let me talk the instantaneous velocity of uh, at the at the moment of t of t equal t one minus t two over two. Yeah. The instantaneous of uh, the object at t over a half of t1 plus t2 equal the average velocity yeah, at that time. So the notation is, is wrong. You see x1 and x2 exactly just uh, 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 formulas. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. It's x2 is from here to here. No, b 
from and it's at least S, not S. S, yes, yeah, sorry, yes, yeah, okay. Any question? So, so again, which is X? X? Yes. yes. X is distant. Uh, X is the displacement from the uh, the real point here to the yeah. five point, the so fifth point. X two is here. Yes, I think. You, you, you can count five, five points to one I. Yeah? Uh, actually, mm, here is. Actually, it. what? Here, each one is one I. Yeah? Yes. Here, in the rest of the line. Yeah. It's the. Each one is one I. Yeah? Yes, yeah. No, not, not five, five points. No, it's no, less uh, than you take the time. The time is interval is 0.1. But and it's in, it is in correct function with five, uh, five distances. Five yeah. consequences. Yes. And for me, it is too big. Yeah. Because, uh, well, it doesn't want to influence the result of the experiment, but you want to consider. Uh, the average velocity in the distance equal to the instantaneous velocity mm -hmm. uh, somewhere in meter. So yes. the, the time of the meter should be small enough. Yeah. To, to, because we students do not really know about that sort of motion. Yes. So the, the, the short distance is yes. easier to accept yes. that appro approach than approach than. You mean that the, the ito time should be shorter? Yeah. Should, should be zero. Point, uh, point, point, zero, point, two. Point zero, two. Yeah. Take only one time interval. Yes. And it's more precise and more essential for students. Yes. Although this way it doesn't influence on the results, I know it's good. It's not good in this case. Yes. Okay. Move. Next